Hey guys, Vinny from Stock Facts, and as you can see from the thumbnail, uh, Palantir may be in a bit of trouble. Their stock may be in a bit of trouble as well. As you see here, the headline, Palantir's COVID-19 contract with the U.S. government is under threat. Uh, Palantir's Technologies could lose its contract with the U.S. federal government to develop the COVID tracker system, according to a Daily Beast report. Uh, on January 15th, the Daily Beast report reported President Trump's administration officials have suggested to the transition team for President-elect Joe Biden to do away with a COVID tracker developed by Palantir due to its inaccuracy. Palantir had secured a contract last year with the Department of Health and Human Services to better develop its system. HHS protect to track the rising number of COVID-19 cases in the United States. Palantir's data mining software was used to develop the system. The company has also entered into other COVID-19 related contracts. Last year, the company won a $36 million contract with the National Institute of Health to develop a COVID-19 patient database. The data mining company also secured a two-year contract at the end of last year with the UK's National Health Service worth $31.5 million to develop software platform for data processing of COVID-19 patients. Yeah, you know, P Palantir has been on a, a pretty good run. You know, some of the contracts that they had as last year, they had one with the U.S. Army as well, which was where this was around December 21st. They landed a contract with them where it was worth about $113 million a year. Uh, investors should also note that the Army picked Palantir for a $458 million program back in December 2019. And then after that even... Um, just a short time ago, this past week, Palantar shares jumped up on reports that ARK was buying again into Palantir shares. Let's jump over and take a look at lucidtracking.com. You can see that the first time that ARK bought into Palantir was right over here on November 13th. And as you can see, boom, the price jumped up. And then they bought in again. Let's actually scroll down and take a better look at when they actually made their purchases. It was, again, on January 8th, they spent over a million dollars on shares. And then this past Friday, they spent around $14 million in shares on Palantir. They've been kind of consolidating for a while. You know, I actually did. As you can see here in my position, I bought in over here, especially hearing after the contracts and ARC buying in that they were going to spike again. You know, they, they had a nice run. Over here is where ARC Invest bought in. They shot up. And then they kind of felt some resistance right here around 3350. They've been running sideways, showed a little bit of confirmation and support right here, a couple green days. But you know, with the the sentiment behind this stock and the company, I was definitely anticipating another run. You know, for them to jump up, they've been going sideways for uh, you know almost a, a full longer than a full month now. This is back over here, beginning of December. So we'll see how this affects the stock, depending on how the news gets around. I just recently noticed it just right now. We'll see tomorrow when the market opens, which is Tuesday, day after Martin Luther King Day, how Palantir is going to do. Hopefully it jumps up. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like and a subscribe.